people are always asking for the secrets that occur behind the scenes in the run up to a performance. And so I thought I might share a small story about Ashton's Very Capricci. When we revived it in January of 2019, it hadn't been seen on stage for almost 30 years. In fact, it had only been performed a few times after its initial premiere by the Royal Ballet. When we were reviving it, we had uh, several amazing people working on that process, including uh, choreologist and repetitor Grant Coyle. And as he was going through the, the notes and the um, notation for Very Capricci, while also listening to the music by Sir William Walton, he realized that one of the movements just didn't fit with the music. It, it was as if the music was completely wrong, but that was the only recording of Sir William Walton's Very Capricci, while at the same time his partner and renowned conductor Barry Wordsworth was also looking through the score and discovered notation that said that Ashton had actually asked Walton to recreate that movement and change it for his own needs for the ballet. So that variation of Walton's score was only performed alongside the ballet and was never recorded. And so we were suddenly faced with the situation where we had invested time, money, resources into putting a ballet on stage that we didn't have all the music for because it didn't exist. So we were really fortunate that at the same time, the Birmingham Royal Ballet's Symphonia were recording music and Barry came in, he worked with the orchestra, they recorded this additional movement and then sent it over to us. So we were able to rehearse and perform Ashton's Very Capricci the way it was meant to. And have also ensured that for future generations, other ballet companies and other audiences can experience that ballet the way it was meant to be performed.